Everything you need to know to get started with Bookshare in 10 minutes. Welcome to getting started with Bookshare. Today you will learn how to access over 1 million books for your students with reading barriers. In just 10 minutes, we will cover what Bookshare is and who is eligible, how to set up your account, how to assign books to students and get them reading, a few Bookshare facts. We serve over 800,000 students in all 50 states. Over 40,000 schools and districts have Bookshare organizational memberships. Over 10 million books have been downloaded over the past decade. Why Bookshare? Approximately 5% of students have barriers to reading and comprehending printed materials. To fully participate in the classroom, they need access to the same materials at the same time as their peers in formats that work for them. For some students, that means books and audio, highlighted text with synchronized audio, braille, or larger print. This is where Bookshare comes in. What is Bookshare? Bookshare is an ebook library with over 1 million titles, including textbooks, fiction, nonfiction, award winners and bestsellers, and so much more. Books are available for pre-K through 12th grade, post-secondary, technical, and career resources, New York Times bestsellers, popular leveled reader collections, and more. We have close to 35,000 books in Spanish and books in over 60 other languages. Best of all, Bookshare is free for qualified U.S. students of any age thanks to funding from the Department of Education Office of Special Education Programs. Bookshare Accounts. Bookshare offers two account types. Educators can sign up for an organizational account. These accounts can be created at a school or district level. On organizational accounts, educators simply add their qualified students to the account roster. Note that Bookshare calls educators sponsors and refers to students as members on these accounts. In case you see that wording and are puzzled, sponsors find and assign books to the students. Students then log in on the device of their choice and read the book. They can only read books that have been assigned to them. Bookshare also offers individual memberships for both students and non-students, but organizational accounts are the focus for today. District-level assistive tech or vision departments often create Bookshare accounts for district-wide use. If you haven't already created an account, you might first check with them to see if there is already an account you can get added to. If you need to set up an account, simply go to the Bookshare website and select the Sign Up Today button. You can review the videos on the page to learn more about the sign up process. When you are ready to create your account, select the Sign Up Organization button and complete all required fields. Who qualifies? Students must have a qualifying disability to use Bookshare, and they generally fall under three categories, visual impairment, learning or reading disability, or physical disability. If a student's disability affects their ability to read and comprehend printed materials, they may qualify for Bookshare. To qualify for Bookshare, a professional with appropriate expertise must certify that an individual meets at least one of those qualifications. Examples of qualifying professionals at the school level include, but not limited to, special education staff, assistive technology team members, occupational or physical therapists, and reading specialists. More examples of qualifying professionals can be found on our website. Now that we are through the basics, I am going to show you how to add a student, find and assign books on the Bookshare website, and the many ways to read Bookshare books. I am logging in as a sponsor and it opens on my Bookshare page. The My Bookshare page is your dashboard where you add new students and other teachers, among other things. First, we will add a new student. Select the Members link to access your member roster. Then the Add Member button. Fill in the information. Be sure to set a username and password for them as this is how they log in and see their assigned books. Selecting the disability type serves as the proof of disability for that member. Nothing more is needed. Note if they have an IEP or on a 504 plan, then select Save when finished. You then have the option of assigning books or adding the student to a reading list. For now, I will select Not Now so that I can show you how to find books. If you need help at any time with adding members, refer to the video tutorials linked on the page. There are three ways to search for books. The easiest way is to use the search bar at the top of every page. For more narrow searches, use the advanced search page. Not sure what you want? 
The Browse page contains a wide variety of book lists curated by the Bookshare team. If you can't find the book you need, you can request it. Within the Help Center, you will find the Request Book link. Select the link, then select the Book Request link. Fill out the form with as much information as possible. The ISBN is particularly helpful. Students can only read books that have been assigned to them. There are two ways to assign books, one at a time using the Assign button, or by adding books to reading lists that you create and assign students to. For now, I will show you how to assign a book using the Assign button and will later direct you to resources where you can learn more about reading lists. When you find a book you want, simply select the Assign button and then choose the student you wish to assign the book to. You can select one, a few, or all students. That's it. You have now assigned books to your students and they are ready to read. Next, I will show how students log in and find their assigned books. Students log in using the username and password you created for them when adding them to your roster. When they log in, they can easily see their assigned books, which are those assigned using the Assign button, their reading lists, and recent books. Here's the book I assigned earlier in the webinar. They have the option of selecting the Read Now button to read the book directly in the browser in the Bookshare web reader. This is a basic reader that has the synchronized highlighting and audio with customizable visual and audio settings. They can also choose to download the book file in a variety of formats, including audio, braille, and word. There are many ways to read Bookshare books, including free and low-cost apps for mobile devices and specialized assistive technology devices. The Reading Tool Wizard, located in the Help Center, can help you and your students find the best tool for the devices they have access to in school and at home. One mobile app our members really like is the Dolphin Easy Reader. It is free and works on both iOS and Android devices. It has a variety of voices and visual options to create a customized reading experience. Let me show you. I am using Dolphin Easy Reader on an iPhone. I am logged in as a student and find my assigned book. As you can see, there are many options for customizing the text settings. There are also options to customize audio settings. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. We have a robust online learning center, which is found under the Help Center. It contains many resources, including the ABCs of Bookshare for educators. The ABCs page has many great resources to help you easily get up and running. Here, you will find information, how-to guides, and short videos on all of Bookshare's features, including many that we didn't cover today, but are useful as you implement Bookshare. We also have a help center that you can search for information on specific topics, as well as a customer support team available by phone or email. We covered a lot today, including what Bookshare is and who is eligible, how to set up your account, how to assign books to students, and get them reading. It's a lot of information, so please refer back to the Learning Center, Help Center, or contact customer support with any questions.